Hey guys, so I have some exciting news. If you did not watch the live stream that we did the other night announcing the reseller rally, I just want to tell you now, we are having the reseller rally here in Cincinnati, Saturday, September 26th. We've reserved a riverboat. We're going to do a dinner cruise on the river. Tickets are going to be $100 and they're going to go on sale Thursday, February 20th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The website where you get the tickets I'll put it down below in the description. We're really excited about this and I hope to see all you guys there. Hey guys, it's Wednesday morning and today I'm gonna to get out of the warehouse and do a little bit of sourcing. I'm sure that you guys are tired of just seeing me pull orders all the time. So we're gonna go check a place out. that I heard about it a couple months ago and a handful of people have told me about it. Basically, this place buys truckloads of returns and they put them in all these bins and they just sell it all off and each day it's a little bit cheaper they get everything on saturday and it's like five dollars a piece and by wednesday i think it's like two dollars a piece and then i think like thursday friday is like fill a bag for i don't know a dollar or something like that it's called overstock guys and it's not too far from me so i'm gonna check that out and see if we can find some stuff but first i've got a handful of ebay orders going out the door that i gotta ship so Let's get to work. First thing is a Sony Mini DV recorder. I had two of these in that bulk lot of video equipment that I bought. The other one I already sold, and now this one sold as well. I got $79.99 plus shipping. Sold some software. This is Mac OS 9. This sold for $19.99 free shipping. Sold a Hot Wheels car. I think I've only got two of these left. I got a bunch of these California Customs for a dollar each at a garage sale, and I've done really well with them. Um, most of them I got around $15 to $20 for. This one sold for $10 plus shipping. Sold a soccer jersey. I sent a handful of offers out yesterday, and this is one of the things I sent an offer on. Had it listed for like $15 plus shipping, sent an offer of $10 plus shipping, and someone accepted. Another thing I sent an offer on is this skateboard deck. This is a Batman Dark Knight deck. Um, I sent it out a best offer of $50 plus shipping and the watcher accepted. And this is actually going out to a viewer named Matthew. So Matthew, thank you for the business, man. Hope you like the deck. Sold some old books. It's a 1950s Girl Scout book and there's an extra little pamphlet in there as well. These sold for $9 plus shipping. Sold this lot of cable connectors. Um, this is in like a random box in that video stuff that I got. These sold for $24.99 plus shipping. That auction I ran for all the transformer pieces just sold. This was a massive lot. Um, there was a few complete figures in here, but there was a lot of like just loose pieces. So I just did an auction for it. Started at a dollar, sold for $115 plus shipping. I showed those in a previous video. And when I looked at all of the bidders for that lot, I noticed some familiar names. So all you guys that bid on that, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. My order of pulling is over in the storage unit. So let's go for a little walk. I'm storing all those tripods in here. So it is a little bit crowded. Okay, uh, the thing we're pulling, I believe, is in this box up here, or maybe the one next to it. All right, this is a rain suit. It is pants and jacket. Got a retail arbitrage for about 10 bucks. Sold for $27.99 plus shipping. All right, I'm at the Overstock Guys warehouse. Got my Ikea bag. Gonna see what this place is all about. Well, that was pretty interesting. They didn't want me filming in there, which is fine. I was on their Facebook page, and they have some pictures of kind of the warehouse and everything so i'll post those on here to show you guys what it looks like the sales part of it is probably like two or three thousand square feet there's about 20 people shopping in there and they've got i'd say between 15 and 20 bins and they're pretty long and they're about a foot or two deep and they're just totally loaded with stuff and from what i could tell everything came from amazon so either amazon returns or surplus or whatever it is they all had those amazon barcodes on them which kind of helps you figure out what the product is because a lot of it was in just unmarked cardboard box. So they don't want you bringing your own bags in. So I didn't use my Ikea bag. They have their own Ikea bags there. And then they just put everything in a big old garbage bag for you when you leave. I got 11 things. It was $22 plus tax. 
and I feel pretty good about some of the stuff too. So when I get back to the warehouse, I'm gonna pull this stuff out and show you guys what I got. All right, back at the warehouse, got everything pulled out here. A couple things are for personal use. Uh, so this is kind of cool. This is something that you use to clean up your dog's paws if they get muddy. And my dog Crosley loves to get his paws muddy outside. And we've had to like dip them in water or stuff and it's a big mess. So I guess you just like put the paw in there and clean them up. So that I'm gonna keep. These right here are a couple beanies that I got for my foster daughter. I think she'll like those. And then the rest of the stuff is for resale. I got three of these Century Capcard uh, flea pills. Um, each one is only six. Looks like these are selling for about $15, $16 free shipping. And I'll just make one listing with that, which is nice. And they're super light. So this is going to ship at like the three ounce rate, which will be about $2.80. So that'll be some good profits on those uh this little remote control i think it's gonna sell for about 13 14 something like that there's some nicorette gum uh it's 20 pieces is not expired it looks like it goes until 2021 it's a 20 count i'm not sure what that'll sell for but i have sold nicorette before and made some pretty good money on it i got some car accessory stuff this brand kuryakin i'm probably mispronouncing that these are pretty interesting um i could not pass these up for two dollars a piece it looked like this one i could get sixty dollars or more this one just looked pretty good i didn't even bother looking it up i'm like for two bucks what the heck we'll grab it this is a barstool sports sweater it says let's get lit and then this right here is door handles for a jeep wrangler they had signs that they did not want you opening the stuff up, so I couldn't actually look in there, but I'm gonna crack it open now and see what it looks like. I don't know if this is a return or what. It's got a couple nicks, so might have to sell it as used, but for $2, I think we're gonna be all right. I'm gonna try to check that place out periodically, maybe once a month or something, and if you guys are in the Cincinnati area, highly recommend checking it out. A bit of advice when you're digging through the bins, dig all the way to the bottom. It seems to be like that's where I found the best stuff.